I started to feel the 90 effects. Hmm. And you're torn between, isn't that wonderful, and <laughs> 90. <laughs> and what you do a lot is you th you, you're thanking God quietly for the gift, because I think it's a gift according to the census in this country, there's not a lot of people that make 90. Right. So you start out with gratitude. Hmm. And with making sure you don't forget the blessings. But I get out of the shower, I look at a long full-length mirror, and I say, look at that. And I'm looking in the mirror and I'm saying, he made 90, but look at him. <laughs> he looks 90 in this mirror. And then I laugh at it. Hmm. You, you have to laugh at it. Hmm. Uh, don't bitch so much. Hmm. Uh, be aware that everyone is watching the 90-year-old. The interesting thing to me, and the joy of doing this thing with Ray, is you get reminded of stuff you forgot. Hmm. And that's what I love best about it, hmm. being reminded. You know, as I was looking back on your career, and I've rewatched so many of your movies over the last week or two. You got a lot of courage. I, well, no, I don't. I laughed a lot, and my children did too, and their friends did as well, because we watched some of them as a group. How old are they? Well, I have a 17-year-old, a 12-year-old, and a 10-year-old. So imagine these kids watching your movies. What are you, Catholic? Yeah, well, oh, yeah. Okay. yeah, I'm practicing. I haven't perfected it, I'm just practicing. Um, <laughs> let, let, but I'm amazed looking at you. You've reached 90. Most 90-year-olds, that's it. Yeah. They're not doing anything else. Jerry, you're on the road. You've got a new movie coming up. And yeah. I want to talk about that film because I think there's a connection between your very earliest films and your whole body of work and this new film, Max Rose. Well, you can go from my first film to Max Rose. You can go from that to that, and you will not get anything alike. But, it's there, is a, but there is a through line. You have to set your mind and your body to the new film, mm -hmm. whatever the film is. Mm -hmm. And that's what I've done all of my career. Get set for this upcoming film. And... Max Rose yeah, is an right. unusual film for Jerry Lewis. I'll say. Uh, there's none of the pratfalls. No. He doesn't walk into a wall, hang himself with a telephone cord. <laughs> and uh, being put in that position of having to check all of those items mm. is a joy. It's not a problem. Sixty-five years. I can't even remember my life without her. But the truth is, her life with me was a lie. Has something happened between you and Mom that you haven't told me or anyone? I wanted to ask you here because I thought it was really important for you to have some social interaction with your peers. Max is a piano player. Can you play the blues? I live the blues. For 20 years, you didn't act. And then you get this script one day. Why did you take this role? It's a very different character for Jerry Lewis. Well, the difference is if Jerry Lewis is going to do another film, which is what's happening, mm -hmm. He better have some reason because without the reason, then you're just doing a film. Yep. But the reason in this case was that I fell in love with the script. Mm. And Daniel wrote 
from his heart. One yep. final film. And it's good to go there Shoot once in a while. Mm. You learn a lot about yourself. It is kind of touch and go. Mm. And that they can't take away from me because that's part of what I do. Mm. And and I take advantage of the fact that the viewers have seen me before. Well, that, that's part of the power of this piece. Yeah. Here is this performer, this film tour that we've known our whole lives. And in this film, we don't just watch Jerry entertain us. We watch him reveal a part of himself. <laughs> <laughs> 